Picture this. You've got super strength, your brain works faster than any supercomputer, and you've got the physique of an Olympic athlete without breaking a sweat at the gym. Sounds too good to be true. Now, let's say no more sickness. Imagine saying bye-bye to cancer even before it dares to show up. HIV and AIDS? <laughs> a thing of the past. What a world that would be, right? If you are watching this video and the calendar says anything past 2040, you're probably like, hmm, old news, given that we haven't blown ourselves to smithereens in a nuclear face-off, that is. So, what's the big deal today? Well, we're talking about something called transhumanism. Bit of a mouthful. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. All we are talking about here is tweaking our human abilities, becoming stronger, smarter, healthier, and maybe, just maybe, taking a leap beyond what nature intended. And that, my friends, is a wild ride. So yeah, welcome to BlackRock Inspired. So, transhumanism is a highly controversial topic that could heat up a dinner conversation real fast. We've got folks cheering it on and others pulling it down. We're dealing with questions of ethics, our very identities and how society might shapeshift with it. We humans are a peculiar bunch. We say we want to grow and evolve, but throw us a curveball and we are shaking in our boots. If you look back at history, any time someone seemed different or tried to enact change, we tend to freak out and try to, you know, save our culture. Remember the Middle Ages? If you're a woman who wants to learn how to read, whoa, she must be a witch. Better burn her at the stake. And what about the idea that black people should have the same rights as white people? No way, it'll ruin our culture. Even today, two gay guys fall in love and instead of celebrating that love, they get hate in return. I mean, we have to think about the children, right? Now, let's look at transhumanism. You may think to yourself, hey, I want to be a cyborg and be taller, or maybe I want bigger muscles. You better believe there would be an opera. You'd probably have people screaming, we're made in God's image. Obviously, we can't tamper with God's image. It's like we're stuck in a cycle of fear. We're so afraid of losing what's familiar that we don't see the bigger picture. That humanity isn't just about one person, one group, or one tribe. We are like a massive worldwide organism that keeps changing and growing. That's just what we do. We evolve. We can't help it. And those who cling to the past, well, they are the ones who get left behind. So, what are some of the upsides to this whole transhumanism business? First up, we're talking about busting through our biological boundaries. You see, since the dawn of time, we've been using tools to give us an edge glasses to see better, prosthetics to walk again, hearing aids to hear the whispers, the list goes on. What if we could use the same concept and push the envelope a bit? Maybe give our natural abilities a turbo boost. Next, think about health and longevity. Imagine swapping out a busted kidney for a shiny, high-functioning one straight off the assembly line. Or, Fixing those sneaky little genetic issues that cause so much trouble. We're not just talking about wiping out diseases here. We're talking about adding years, maybe decades to our lives. Not in a nursing home, but living life to the fullest, age just being a number. And then, there is the potential for us to really ramp up our brain power. Imagine if we could crank up our IQs or creativity level on demand. We'd be seeing advancement in science, arts, philosophy, you name it, and at a pace we can't even imagine now. But hold up, let's pump the brakes for a second. As cool as all this sounds, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We've got to think about the potential pitfalls too. One biggie is ethics. Yeah, it's great to talk about super strength and mega brains, but who's going to have access to these upgrades? If it's just the folks with the fattest wallets, we're heading straight for a world where the rich get richer and the poor, well, you get the picture. And let's not forget the issue of messing with mother nature. Where do we draw the line between enhancement and going too far? Then, there's a question of identity and authenticity. 
If we are tweaking our brains and bodies, are we still us? Would we still be humans as we understand the word today? Or would we lose something vital, something that makes us, well, you know, human? And let's not forget the boomerang effect. Opening up the Pandora's box, we throw these ideas out there, but we can't predict exactly how they will come back to us. Could making our brains more powerful lead to unexpected psychological issues? If we live longer, will we end up with too many people and not enough resources? Alright, before we dive headfirst into the pool of negatives, let's take a breath. Yeah, I see you skeptics ready to pounce. Did you know we've been playing around with genetics for quite some time now? And I'm not talking about humans, but our food. Yup, that juicy apple you had for lunch, or that corn on the cob at your summer barbecue. There's a good chance they were genetically modified. Don't freak out, it's not as scary as it sounds. Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs as they are fondly called, are just plants or animals that have had their genes tweaked a bit. Why? Well, for all sorts of reasons. Let's start with the shelf life. Remember when bananas used to go brown faster than you could eat them? Not anymore. Thanks to GMOs, your favorite fruits and veggies can last even longer on the shelves and in your fridge meaning less waste and more deliciousness. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. GMOs can also help crops resist pests and diseases. That means farmers can grow more food more reliably. It's a big deal, especially in parts of the world where food can be hard to come by. Let's not forget that GMOs can also boost the nutritional value of food. Golden rice, for example, is a genetically modified rice that has extra vitamin A. It's been a game-changer in parts of the world where vitamin A deficiency is a major issue. Now, let me blow your mind. You might be thinking, but gene modification for human is still far away, yes? Uh, I'm sorry to tell you, nope. It's not 2040 yet, but gene modification is here. It's called CRISPR, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Uh, pro tip, don't try saying that fast three times, you may lose your teeth. Well, this is like a pair of molecular scissors. Scientists can use it to snip out, modify or replace genes in a DNA sequence. And yes, that's as cool as it sounds. So, what can we do with CRISPR? Well, the sky's the limit. One of the most exciting possibilities is treating genetic disorders. Let's take the example of sickle cell disease, a condition that affects millions of people around the world. It's caused by a single mutation in a gene. One tiny mistake in our genetic code and the effects can be devastating. But with CRISPR, we could change that. Scientists have already started using this tech to snip out the faulty gene and replace it with a healthy one. It's in its early days yet, but the results so far are promising. So yeah, gene editing could be a game-changer. But just like with anything new and powerful, we've got to use it wisely. Because while CRISPR and other tech like it hold incredible potential, they also raise some big questions and the questions we need to ask are tough ones. How will we regulate these technologies? How will we ensure they're accessible and not just privileges for the elite? How do we balance the drive for improvement with respect for the natural world? These are just a few of the many ethical, social, and legal issues we need to grapple with. Because we're on the cusp of an era where we might cure diseases that have plagued humanity for centuries, where our abilities could be enhanced beyond our wildest dreams, where the constraints of aging could be a thing of the past. But let's pause on the heavy stuff for a moment. Today, instead of getting tangled up with the what-ifs, let's allow ourselves to dream a little. Because the world that's unfolding before us is truly mind-boggling. Until next time, thank you for watching.